Hey Hunter Nation, Hunter Tom here, and welcome back to another video. We're here at SHOT Show 2020 at the Humorex booth with Mark. Tell us a bit about yourself. Hey, yeah, I'm just a social media manager, a social media Sasquatch, so to speak. A little bit of a hairy dude. Kind of blurry suit, too. Awesome. Yeah. So you want to show us around uh, the new uh, pump you got? Yeah, so we're into the high-pressure air pumps now. So this is the uh, Ready Air high-pressure air pump. It will go up to 4,500 PSI. Big kick on this is it's maintenance-free. You don't need to put any oil in it. Okay. and you don't need to have a water system to worry about radiating to keep it cool. Air fins and the air fans moving a lot of air through there, keep everything cool. And if it does get too hot, it's got an auto shut off feature that'll shut it off before anything happens, yeah. And what's your maximum uh, fill pressure you got on? Uh, 4,500 PSI. And MSRP around? $500. $500, yeah. Nice. So we got digital readout here on top, AC-DC so you can run off your car. Perfect. Looking at fill times that are okay they're not fast but we didn't want to go for fast we wanted to go for longevity okay. so a 13 cubic inch tank will fill in about 10 minutes awesome. from zero and when do you think it's going to ship out roughly uh that i don't know don't know yet yeah. yeah awesome all right well let's keep going on with the other products the urex booth all right mark what do you have here all right so this is the air javelin this is our co2 powered arrow gun so got a small like a crossbow size bolt there the trick is it's hollow at the at the uh, knock end slides over the barrel so we're CO2 powered with this one. It uses 88 gram or 12 gram CO2. We'll slide in here. This comes all the way off. Okay. M-lock slots on both sides. Picatinny rail all the way down the top. The charging handle on it is ambidextrous. You can swap it back either way. I got a nice large push through safety above the trigger. Awesome. And adjustable stock as well. So it's got it's a six position stock. Okay. So you can fit a kid to big guy. Nice. And yeah. what's uh, the FPS round on this? You're going to see 300 feet per second. The arrow is 170 grain, so you're looking at energy around 35, 36 pounds. Nice. And so it would be more for small game? or yeah. Small game and target shooting. Just fun yeah. in the backyard is probably the biggest application for this. And uh, what about the MSRP? The MSRP is lovely. It's $170 US. Awesome. Very cool. We're going to move on to the Air Saber now. All right, Mark, so here you got the Air Saber, eh? Yes, sir. This was uh, voted at the uh, Athlon Outdoors Media Event as the most fun at the range. Ballistic Magazine came and presented us with an award for that. And this is the reason why, is because it made the most power. It was the most fun, most accurate thing that they were out there shooting. They, they had a great time with it. And uh, what what's, uh, it's just regular crossbow bolts, you're gonna have a special bolt Well, this is a special bolt there. It's more like an arrow. So okay. it's it's 23 inches long. So, you know, most regular arrows are gonna be 20s, a little bit longer than that, about 28 inches. One thing you notice there is those fletchings are straight. Yeah. And like the uh, Air Javelin, it's a hollow arrow. And so we found that it gets the best accuracy just with those straight fletchings on there. It's coming out stabilized to begin with, okay. unlike an arrow that's destabilized when it leaves. 376 grains with a one, that's including the field tip on there that's 100 grains. Uh, it's reinforced. There's a o-ring down at the bottom that'll prevent the arrow if you're a field yeah. from coming out on you if you point it down it's going to have three sections of pick rail there so quiver bipod whatever you want to put on that uh, pick rail style scope mount up here bolt action safety nice bolt yeah side. yeah it's, it feels great yeah. it's fantastic action there safety's on the trigger itself great ergonomics uh, we, we borrowed a little bit from Walther on the ergonomics there so it feels fantastic yeah. but power wise it's where this thing delivers 400 feet per second with a 376 grain arrow and uh, you're looking at way north of 125 yeah. pound-feet of energy. So this is a big game hunting, well fairly large game hunting yes. tool, right? Yeah, of course the obstacle here is, is legality because there's some places where it's not legal but in the U.S. there's nine states where you can use a pneumatic air bow to, to harvest game. But it's also fun just for shooting, you know. You know it. Yeah. Yeah, and then you know there's a lot of folks who love archery, who love a challenge for shooting and marksmanship and they got a shoulder injury and they can't use a bow yeah. anymore. So this is something that would be great for them. Yeah. And shots per fill, we are looking at up to... About 30, 30. 30 shots for a fill. Yeah. Now it's not regulated, so you are gonna have a tapering off effect there, yeah. but for a hunting situation, you're not gonna shoot 30 times. You're gonna yeah. shoot once. Yeah. And, <laughs> and it's also, it's a crossbow, right? Like it's not a rifle either. So. Well, uh, as far as the, the Game of Fish departments that are, are looking at it, they're, they're putting this in rifle season actually. Okay. Uh, for, or most of them. There may be a couple that allow you to use it in. Yeah. Uh, archery. Yeah. I see you got a Thompson on that wall over there. Oh, I mean, sure. not a Thompson. Yeah, yeah. An yeah. M1A1. My bad. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, let's go and see that. Alright, Mark, you got uh, an M1A1 here. Tell us a bit about it. Oh man, this is probably one of the most fun guns we've brought to the show in a long time. So, 
we got probably familiar with the Legends MP, the MP40 tribute. Well, this is kind of in that same boat. We have another open boat machine guns here. So yeah, your looks and function and ergonomics are all the same as the M1A1. You get your safety, your fun switch, and your mag release there. Uh, magazine drops out really easy. It's got a great rail that interacts there with the with the body of the gun. 30 round capacity. Okay. 177 steel BB and two CO2. CO2, yeah. Yeah. You're gonna get probably if you're using the full auto mode, which you will, you probably get two fills yeah. uh, of BBs out of it before you have to change out your CO2. But that's where your smile ratio mm -hmm. to dollars comes into handy. Yeah. This thing generates smiles like crazy. Awesome. Yeah. And it's got a really, really nice wood stock on it, eh? Well, yeah, it is a really nice wood stock, except that it's not wood. It's not wood? No, no. This is uh, this is a synthetic, and it is an amazing looking synthetic. Well, it's tricked me, guys, because <laughs> I thought it was I thought it was wood. That's awesome. You're wow. not the first person to be fooled by it, but no, it's got the swing, uh, swing swivels on there so you can get on Amazon and find yourself a reproduction yeah. period correct swing, a sling for it and uh, go to town man this is this is amazing yeah awesome all right so what's this Mark all right Tom what we have here is the Walther rain this was introduced last year at Iwa for the European market well we finally got it here in the US ambidextrous bullpup design magazine will swap from one side to the other your charging assembly of course our, our Screw vibrated out of that out here at the show and it's gone, but the super easy gun to live with, super accurate, great power. And uh, in terms of calibers, what's going to be 177, 22? Uh, we're going to do 22 and 25 in 25. this. 25, yeah. Okay. yeah. okay. So pre charged pneumatic, you're looking at in 22, probably around 60 shots full power. Okay. Uh, in 25, about 40 shots full power. Okay, and then foot pounds of energy, what are we looking at? Uh, in the 25 range, in 22, in the 40 plus, in 25, yeah. Okay. And you got all sorts of rail, Picatinny rails all over the gun. That's right, yeah, it's ready to go. Stuff. You can mount your optic up here on top, bipod up here on the bottom. And like I said, it's fully ambidextrous. You can swap everything over from side to side to make it suit you. And like every Walther does, it's got a great grip, great ergonomics. Okay, and is it a regulated PCP or? Uh, I believe it is regulated PCP, yes. Awesome, cool. And I see you've got a pistol here we'll look oh, at. Oh yeah. A lot of folks like to train with a blowback style air gun, but if they have a steel target that they're using, you have a ricochet risk. Yeah. So we, we tried to eliminate that with this one. We got the PPQ M2 pellet. So we have blowback action. We've got a rubber band pellet that holds 20, 20 pellets in there. Oh, wow. So yeah, you're gonna be able to fit it in, in a lot or most of the Walther style holsters. Uh, you may have some clearance issues over here on the slide release. There's a safety there that sticks out just ever so slightly further. Yeah. Uh, you got accessory fitment. We and we've tested several lights on here directly from our PBQ firearms, okay. and they worked fantastic on it. Is it going to be a rifle barrel? Or? Yeah, rifle yeah. barrel, 177 pellet, a velocity in the neighborhood of 350 feet per second. second. And uh, double action, right? Double action, yeah. With blowback. With blowback, so yeah. Cool, let's keep going on with the tour. So, Mark, you've got the origin here. Okay, yeah, well, this is a unique. PCP, all right? One thing that I really like about this, it's got a side lever. It takes the gauntlet magazine. So this is, it's gonna be a very easy gun to live with. What sets it apart from a lot of uh, PCPs out there is that we worked on something, a device to make this easier to fill. So it's got a pre-pressurized tank down here, which means it's got a spring essentially inside pushing against the air already. 13 pumps, we'll get a one full power shot. With 100 pumps, you're gonna get 43 full power shots. Yeah, so that's, that's a fantastic advantage. But the real beauty of this also is that it comes with a pump. We're selling this as a kit okay. with a hand pump. So Here it is. Yeah, so the, the hand pump here comes with this. This is gonna be an MSRP of $350. Wow, US. US, wow. yeah. So this is for the person who's on the fence about getting into PCPs. You know, yeah. you have to buy a pump separately. You know, do I really want to get into this or not and invest, you know, six, yeah. seven, eight hundred dollars into yeah. it? Now you don't have to. Three hundred fifty dollars, you get a PCP. It comes with the pump, and it's a side lever, smooth acting side lever. It's got a manometer on the side. Underneath, of course, I'm running out of hands here. Uh, you got it. All right, thank you, brother. Uh, so this rubber cover comes off and your fill port is right in there. Right there. Yeah. Now, this is sort of regulated in a way because of the gas piston. Yeah, so it's, it's buying an even pressure there, so it will taper off there as you get to the end, but you know, you're getting good, accurate PCP performance, and like all PCPs, you're gonna find a sweet spot in there where it's gonna be just spot yeah. on. Yeah. yeah, it feels lightweight and... Yeah, it's not yeah. it's not an overly heavy, heavy gun. It balances really well, but yeah, this is, this is gonna be an attractive gun for a lot of folks. Yeah. 
Yeah. And you say it's going to go up to 177 to 25, right? Uh, I believe it's 22 only. 22 only, okay. Yes. And foot pounds of energy? Oh, we're looking... You're probably looking 22 to 25 pounds, okay. somewhere in there. So yeah. good small game, rabbit, Absolutely. squirrel, pigeon. Yes, sir. Awesome. And you, you've got baffling um, for the U.S. market, right? I, this is going to be non-baffled. Oh, non-baffled? So, yeah, okay. so if it comes to Canada, it's going to be the, should be the same gun as the U.S. It should be the exact same gun yeah. as the U.S. gun. Awesome. Yeah. Cool. I think we should go look at the hammer real quick. <laughs> okay. Let's we do can that. do that. All right, Mark, so here's the long-awaited hammer. Tell us, you know, what's going on with it. Okay, so the hammer's ready to go. We're in production with it right now. Of course, there are a lot of back orders for, because, you know, they've been out, it's been out there for a while, but yeah. we haven't been able to ship. We're able to ship very soon. So probably within the next couple of uh, days after we get back from the SHOT Show, we'll have our first shipment of these going out. I think there's a lot of people that are excited to, for this gun. They're waiting for it. Correct. You are not wrong about that. Cool. Let's go and check out a couple of the brake barrels they've got on the other side of the booth. Right, Tom, you may remember the Fusion. It was an accurate, but a little bit hard to live with, 177 CO2 powered gun. Yeah. We've, we've improved it some. So we've made it, uh, this is a more like a CO2 adapter assembly. So this whole thing, is part of that so it's a lot easier to put your co2 in okay we've regulated it or the baffled the barrel up here yeah so we've got very very quiet shooting accuracy was never a problem with the fusion it's not a problem with this one either but one improvement that we did make on it is we've got a multi-shot magazine here now people love those nowadays it's oh, like it, yes. you need a multi-shot magazine yeah. here good so this one it's not like the gauntlet magazine okay it's a little bit different design you got nine shots in 177 okay when it's empty you just put a pellet in and then you rotate to the next position and it's then just... it holds on that. It's okay. the easiest magazine I've seen to use on these. Awesome. Big big safety switch up there, great ergonomics. Of all the things out here on the floor that's new, this is probably one of the more affordable things and it's my personal favorite. Your personal favorite, yes, okay. Sir. So in terms of affordability, what, what are we looking like for price? Around $200 okay. SRP, yeah. So if you want a good CO2 gun, a good CO2 you know, rifle, uh, you can plank, you can maybe hunt a bit with it. Maybe. Yeah, 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 small game squirrel, you know, yeah. uh, inside the yard distances. Yeah. That'd uh, be great for that. And it's not too loud, like with your silence air? Yeah, yeah the silence air that we use on other devices. Of course, yeah. we, we went with a different shape on this one. Mm. Uh, looks wise, I'm not crazy about it, but it works. Yeah, yeah. And uh, like I said, it's accurate, and that's what it counts for me. It's, this is a gun, if you want to put uh, one hole on a piece of paper and shoot eight times or nine times, this is you it's can the do kind that with. It. Yeah. Awesome, yeah. awesome. I think you've got some more brake barrels here. Or yeah. you got the new 850 Mark II, it looks like? Yeah, that's right. So, Hammerly 850 was a favorite of a lot of folks. It was yeah. a great seat. CO2 gun, accurate. Basically, we just revamped it, got a new stock on it. It's got a section of the rail and a raised cheek piece here. So you're looking at the same performance that the Hammerly had, you know, yeah. decent, respectable performance velocity-wise, but the big story with this one was always accuracy. Yeah, yeah. So MSRP is going to be $300 on this one. Like I said, use the same style Hammerly magazine. So if you've got old Hammerly magazines, you can use those in this as well. And it's only going to be 177 or we're going to crop the 22? Yeah, it'll have a 22 version 22 as well. Version. Yeah. Okay. Yep. And you've got fiber optic front sights on it. Yeah, so these are all the same as what was on the, the older Hammerly. So those will interchange and we've got parts for it in our warehouse yeah, already. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome, cool. Yeah. Of course, we've already, we just looked at the, uh, the origin. origin. This here is a gun that came out last year. Okay. The Synergist. Yeah. It came out at 177. Immediately, everybody was like, we want a 22. Yeah. There you obviously. go. Here's a 22. It's an under lever. Yeah, multi under lever, multi shot, rotary magazine right up here, kind of a gauntlet style magazine. Forgiving and accurate. I've got this at home and I've got a gauntlet at home. And when I want to go out and shoot just a little bit, I grab this first. Just easy to It's so fill easy. It up. And yeah. I love it. It's just a fun gun to shoot. Yeah. And it's very accurate. And I've got a tripod. Rest. I use a pig saddle rest. Yeah. I don't clamp it in there. I just rest it rest on the it. rubber inside yeah. that. The artillery hole, basically. That's it. Well, oh. it's a little bit. A regular Springer that I've shot through it goes all over the place. But yeah. this one is a little bit more forgiving in that regard. Okay. It's not completely vibration free, free, but it's better. It, you can get good accuracy out of this really easily. Awesome. So it's like a bit of a hunting gun, a bit of a plinking gun. Absolutely. Uh, you can mess around with it. Yeah. Cool. All right, guys. So Umarex is coming out with a new paintball gun. And tell us a bit about it, Mark. It's All exciting. Right. So we're for, very fortunate to have a license agreement with Smith & Wesson. What we've got here is the MMP9 M2.0. So there's a lot of good things with that. One of the, the most noticeable thing is the grip. It just sticks to your hand. Great ergonomics. Smith & Wesson's put a lot of uh, effort into this gun, and it is great. 
Well, what this is, for folks who like to carry or people in law enforcement that use this, they can train with this. Yeah, yeah. 43 caliber paintball. It'll also shoot. There's rubber balls available that are reusable, but magazine loads, just like a, a BB gun. It's just a really big BB. BB gun, yeah. So CO2 goes here in the back. It's blowback action. And we're uh, looking like how many shots about it? Well, like there's, the, there's eight shots in the mag, the mag in okay. inside the mag. You're going to get about 30, 35. Yeah. I mean, you're pushing out. a big, you know. Yes, it's a very, very large projectile. It's yeah, going to dump yeah. a gas in there. Uh, but the ergonomics are the same. It's got the uh, orange front side. I've, I haven't seen that on a gun yet. I've only yeah. seen a white front side, but. It's going to fit into a Smith & Wesson M&P 9 holster, yeah. duty holster, yeah. So awesome. very, very excited about this one here. Folks in law enforcement, folks that like to train, people that you know carry this gun, they want to shoot it in their uh, garage, they can train with this inside their house, yeah. and not yeah. worry about having to go to the range and the range be closed or yeah. it's too cold or whatever, they can practice at home with it. Awesome. Yeah. Very cool. So I think that's it for Umarex, right? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's been a ton of stuff. 2020, yeah. we're looking forward for a great year. Yeah. We're going to kind of set the record straight and, and uh, start uh, you know, there's a quote in Lonesome Dove, you know, north's uh, not a place, it's a direction, and we're, we're yeah. setting our course. Yeah, I mean, they, they've got, you guys got so many products this year, and yeah. I'm really excited about the M1A1. The origin looks really cool, and yeah, a lot of cool stuff. Are you guys going to be making a drum mag for the M1A1, maybe? Uh, to the best of my knowledge, no. No? Yeah. Eventually, maybe? If you get enough, I don't know. Uh, That's... That would be super cool. Yeah. Uh, there's probably some engineering behind it that would have to be worked out. Yeah. And that's not my forte at all. <laughs> Is it?